In many U.S. jurisdictions, the NFPA Fire Safety Code for the installation of non-plenum communication cable requires it to be placed in electrical metallic tubing, or EMT, conduit systems. Recent real-scale fire research has shown that some EMT conduit systems have failed to protect the enclosed non-plenum cable. As a result, a series of IEC 633121 cable research fire tests have been conducted to better understand and document the mechanisms and modes of failure for these conduit cable systems. Two two-and-a-half-foot lengths of metal conduit are joined by a die-cast metal coupling and cable is fed into the conduit so that it meets the 40% fill rule as often required by code. A thermocouple is then positioned inside the conduit, close to the coupling. The completed test sample is then placed within the rig so that the coupling and joined conduit is exposed to the 500 millimeter IEC gas ribbon burner. This fire test clearly shows that the die cast metal couplings first blister, then weaken and distort at temperatures approaching 300 degrees centigrade. They then melt, drip, and often break open, critically failing to protect the low fire performance, non plenum cables, from burning inside the conduit. Initial results from these IEC tests suggest that even at these relatively low conduit temperatures, systems incorporating these couplings are likely to offer less than four minutes of fire protection thus threatening both the physical and electrical integrity of the cables while promoting the spread of fire and smoke through a building. Photographic images taken during these tests closely resemble AHJ fire incident photographs taken during investigations of actual fires, suggesting that this type of failure is not confined to the laboratory. Now that this problem has been identified, manufacturers and standard bodies can justifiably feel that they have a duty of care to work together to both warn fire and building professionals of these fire safety issues and develop safer solutions.